Good morning, folks. Let's start with the two top quakes of yesterday. Not huge magnitude, but locationally flanking the Americas, a five-pointer in the Atlantic and a 4.5 off the California coastline. Uptick signals, but also something peculiar, a diamond. USGS claims the signature on that one looked nothing like an earthquake, said it's likely from nearby blasting at a quarry. Blasting has gone on there a while. Locals are saying they're fed up. Yesterday may have tipped the scales. Items fell from the shelves. There was minor property damage, and they say this one felt more like an explosion. None of the companies working there admitted to causing the blast. Forgot these links in last night's news. Sorry about that. But I wanted to share them here anyway, so the links will be below. Great Lakes residents must read this coastal water quality release. Other one here. Atomic weights are changing, nothing changing too much, but enough to make a difference in equations, reactions, and especially large-scale modeling. It's mostly based on isotope abundance. Website members, listen up. Almost every star has a planetary system. One of the facts coming out of the latest conference. You can begin downloading the Kepler files already, and a la Kepler. One-fifth of stars have Earth-sized planets in the habitable zone. I repeat, one-fifth of stars have Earth-sized planets in the habitable zone. With a better idea of the distribution throughout the systems, add in what we've pieced together in the first two chapters of Star Water so far, and life's ingredients should be all over the place. A new piece by the official ISON Observing Campaign. I think they've been getting the same emails I have, asking why ISON is being hidden. Well, it appears the lunacy surrounding ISON is not abated. It is not being hidden. And you have the best info sources given in the link list below these videos every day. And for your edification, these are all the official satellites and observatories watching ISON just this week. But they will all pale in comparison to the amateur footage we keep getting in as well. Trust me, there's nowhere for this thing to hide. We have learned ISON's trick to staying calm on approach, and it's three weeks to show time. Two typhoons visible in the South China Sea and West Pacific. One already dropped a tornado in the Philippines yesterday, and the incomer from the right is set to become a super typhoon, as bad as they get, eyes open on that one. The leading edge converging pressure systems is pretty dynamic, dipping into the Mediterranean here, causing watches and warnings in more than 50% of the member nations. Now through Saturday in Australia and New Zealand here, Bushfires area on deck for some needed storms in a few days. Hopefully we won't have any burn scar flash floods. Two lows factoring in here. Moisture ripped up the leading east edge and colder air coming down the western backside. Major flash flood risks and snowfall afoot as these systems and the moisture medley aren't exactly harmonious. Terrific article out of Texas detailing the gas pumping into the ground and how it caused quakes. We're coming back to this idea of man-made quakes because Oklahoma continues its uptick. Seismic swarm has now gone on for days. Kind of absurd when you see that breadth of activity. We did take a new gamma burst this morning from Dorado. After worrying that the incoming sunspots were on strike, an M2 solar flare this morning from our biggest incoming group. When looking for more flaring, that's still the primary candidate. The other Earth-facing groups have spread out magnetically, decayed a bit of umbral size, and are just not showing complexity. So let's look at the beast, and let's go delta hunting. This is close here. Up top, the red is a surface feature, not an umbra. But over on the left, we have opposite polarity sunspot umbra, the black parts on the intensity gram, within one degree interacting in the same penumbral region, which is the orange surrounding the umbral groups. Solar wind showing no major event. Geomagnetics are calm, not so much for the solar magnetics. Earth-facing openings taking a backseat right now to whatever temper tantrum our star's magnetics is in the process of throwing. Tough to tell what it means for quakes, but the openings are Earth-facing. Sunspots have complexity for flaring, and with Mercury leaving the Soho frame after conjunction, Saturn conjoins today. Shots of our star and the weather to close, eyes open. No fear at 6.45 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.